The new normal is an expression we hear a lot these days. Whether we're talking about the economy, technology, other aspects of society that are undergoing widespread changes. Climate scientists have been computing normals for their weather stations since at least the 1930s. In the simplest sense, the new normals are 30 year averages of weather variables such as temperatures, both daily highs and lows, as well as rainfall and snow. The new normals cover the period 1981 to 2010, replacing the 1971 to 2000 normals. Many of you have probably seen the normals on your local TV weather station. You know, TV weathermen often show what the high is for the day, what the low is for the day, and they also show the normals for comparison. Here's a primary example. January 5th, 2012, Rapid City, South Dakota. They broke a record with 73 degrees in, it's, it's January. Typically, for Rapid City, you get 37 degrees for a high in early January. So it was 36 degrees above normal that day. The normals tells us this type of information. Normals can be used to determine what crops to plant in a given location, what clothes to pack for an extended trip, even the rates a power company can charge its customers. In fact, when my wife and I decided where and when to have our own wedding, I looked up the normals for my hometown of Miami, Florida. We picked late December because it's one of the driest parts of the year in Miami. Also because the average high temperature is around 77 degrees, which is pretty good. Well, as it turned out, temperature-wise, things were great. But we did get some rain that day. So it just goes to show you, climate is what you plan for and weather is actually what you get. One of the most common questions we receive about the normals is what do the new normals tell us about climate change? Well, it's a little tricky. Changes between the new normals and the old normals are not the best way to diagnose climate change, but the new normals do show the warming that has occurred across the U.S. over the past decade. So the next time you need to pack for a long trip, or maybe you're just interested in typical conditions for your local area, be sure to check out the new normals.